Today we're going to build Ten Hag's dream team at Manchester United with his summer signings, some players already at the club and some of the plays that he wanted but missed out on. Well, Eric, it's a bad day, a, a really bad day. Do you have no coins and you want to complete all the brand new SBC cards? I've got nothing left! Well then head over to MuleFactory.com for the cheapest, most safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Okay, first things first, in case you're wondering what formation we're rocking, we're rocking the 4-3-3 bracket 2. I feel like this is the formation that Ten Hag has at least played this season, so we're going to rock with that for now. So goalkeeper, I could have gone for obviously David De Gea being the current keeper, but Ten Hag did bring in a new keeper this summer, Martin Dubravka. Whether he's just a backup and stays, we don't know, but... He did choose him, so we got to put him in goal. Are you sure about that? Right back then was one of the links that actually we missed out on, and one of the 15 million plays we were linked to, and also probably one of the most unrealistic ones, Ashraf Hakimi. Did he? Oh, he's right. <laughs> it would have been pretty nice to get a hold of him, to be fair, but I don't think that was ever going to happen. Next on the list, we've got another player that was probably Ten Hag's number one target for a centre-back. It's the man Timber. He was pretty much going to join until Lou Van Gaal said he won't play in the World Cup. So cheers, Louis, mate. Much appreciated. <laughs> Next up on the list, we've got one of his summer signings, one of the key men so far this season, The Butcher, Lissandro Martinez, the absolute god at centre-back. This guy's a sick. Don't come at me with his height, he's 5'10", but he's incredible on the ball. He actually wins a lot of headers, so respect Martinez, alright? I don't want to see no Martinez slating in the comments. He's the best football player in the world. Why are you laughing for? What? I'm being serious. And connected to him at left-back, we've got the man, the other new signing, Balasia. This guy's hungry to play, he fights for the badge, you love to see it, and he never stops smiling. On to the CDM for this team, you guys already know. Summer signing again, Casemiro. I feel like we probably wouldn't have signed him if we got a certain other midfielder, which is probably going to be in this team. If you would have told me at the start of summer Casemiro was going to join Man United, I would have said you're lying. You are a liar. On to probably Ten Hag's main target, which he sadly didn't get a hold of. It's the man we keep kind of mentioning. You know who it is, Frankie De Jong. You were the chosen one. All the way to the end of the transfer window and we still didn't get him. We didn't want to leave. Why were we even chasing him? Ten Hag, what were you doing there? But it was definitely a dream for him. So he's got to go in his dream team. To complete our midfield three, then we've got another summer signing with a very juicy SBC card as well. It's the man Christian Eriksen. This guy's an absolute baller. Let's be honest. He's so sick. Definitely a good addition to the team. All right, then on to the front three. On that left-hand side, we're playing someone out of position FIFA-wise. It's none other than the baller, Mr. Jaden Sancho. Very good start to the season and I just see him become better and better every week. So I feel like Ten Hag's definitely happy to keep him in that team. On to the right wing, I'm sure you guys have guessed it by now, the 100 million euro man, Anthony. A lot of money spent here, like if he flops, it's gonna be a bit awkward. Let's be honest though, he's worth it just for the Anthony spin. It's a beautiful skill move. Sadly, I don't have his footies card, which is kind of annoying. I didn't actually complete it, but still, he's got a team in the season, which is good enough, but he definitely has to be in Ten Hag's dream team. And then on to the striker. This one's quite controversial, I can't lie. This player moved to a different Premier League team, and Ten Hag definitely wanted this guy in his team, but it is the new Liverpool number nine, Darwin Nunes. No, God, please, no. Yep, it pains me to put a Liverpool player in a Man United's manager dream team, but he wanted him. He wanted him at the start of the season. However, Ten Hag might not be too bothered after Nunes decided to do his best impression of Zidane. How are you, Hashem? So that's the dream team starting 11 for Mr. Ten Hag. Let me just run you back through the full 11. In goal is Dubravka. Right back is Hakimi. Right centre back is Timber. Left centre back is Martinez. Left back is then Malasia. CD we have Casemiro. Right centre mid is Dion. Left centre mid is Ericsson. Then right wing we've got Anthony. Left wing is Sandro. And straight is Darwin Nunes. Now we've got the starting 11. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below where you think this team would finish in the Premier League. I'm interested to know. So in terms of a bench as well, I've checked a load of United players that Ten Hag seems to like and it's definitely been using a lot. So we've got Varane in there, one of the main centre-backs. We've got Ronaldo, we have got Rashford, we've got Alanga, we've got De Gea, we've got Bruno and we've got Fred. <sighs> Nice. Okay, that's the team complete. Now, we have got to go ahead and win a game with this team, which is not going to be easy, but we're going to try our best. We'll see how many attempts it takes. Let's get into foot champs and let's hopefully get a dub. A few moments later. I did also try and buy Ten Hag as a manager on this game, but I can't find him. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to go for a different Dutch manager in Ronald Koeman. How did this just hold on? Oh, no, I'm not having this. I'm what, not having what, what, this. No, 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 no. Oh my god, the first team we're playing with this team is ridiculous. This is going to be hard. Oh my days. All right, well, let's see if Ten Hag's dream team can do it. Get out. Nice, Malice. I love that. Move! Oh my god, I think I've got red card already. Oh dear, we are in trouble. No, no, no. Oh dear, well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, well done. Oh my god, oh dear. Oh, that's a save. Well done, Nebraska. I like that. Jaden, let's go. In the middle. Ericsson. Anthony, oh. feed him. 
Here we go. The hundred. Oh, he's offside. I like it. Anthony. Ooh. Come on, then. Let's see the skills. Let's see the skills on show. Line. That's inside. Give Finish me that your... crown. Oh, my God. Anthony, that is beautiful. We've got one to one. And we've got a red card. That's what we like to see. Come on. Perseverance here. We're not. Get it. Lies, Hakimi. Anthony. Too easy, dude. Causing all sorts of trouble. What? I tried to lay that back to Nunes. Oh, Neil. Oh, my God, Eric. Boom. Stop that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, my God. That is the worst defending you'll ever see. He's bloody missed him. How is he missed? How is he not scored? Ericsson, into Anthony. He's through. Cut that back. Oh. What a prat. Nunes. Finesse. Oh, Go in. Oh, he's actually put it away. We're two to up in 30 minutes. And we're a man down. You just got to rate the performance, haven't you? See what they can achieve because they can uh, could play football. Do you think he's dead? Oh, Malasia, no, that could be another red. Oh my God, it's a yellow. We got away with that. Oh, that's disgusting. Darwin, into Anthony. See ya. Oh my God, Anthony. Outside the box for this. Oh my word, that was close. Cheers, Jeff. Oh no, put the pressure on there. The team pressing. Tenag loves it. Anthony. Oh my word, on the weak foot as well. Come on, three nil now. Right, I'm dropping De Jong and I'm putting Varane at centre back. Also, let's bring on Ronaldo. You know, he gets subbed on a lot. So, you know, we might as well bring him off from the bench. True. Nice. Sancho into Ronaldo. What a ball. Ronaldo. <laughs> what a finish. 4 0. It looks like we're about to get a rage quit as well. Always oh, making a sub. And we got one. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Tenag's dream team's too much for the people on Foot Champs, mate. I'm telling you. That's the Tenag way. Okay. Well, there we go. We actually managed to win in our first game. I did not expect to do that at all. Just in case you don't believe it's the first game as well. Literally, Martinez has played one game and he's obviously got this red card. But we did it. First game, a win with the Eric Tenag dream team. Like I said earlier, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Where do you think this team would finish in the Premier League. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Please do let me know in the comments below any future challenge videos you guys would like to see as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.